Um, new Bubbles. For those who are not familiar with New Bubbles, we are a specialist FE training and consultancy firm formed in 2010 to support colleges improve teaching and learning in the FE sector. We run events across the south and, and in some cases beyond that, as far as Wales even. And we carry out research that we hope will make a, a serious contribution to the development of FE teachers and the FE teacher training community. Back in 2010, the, the UK Skills Commission um, reporting on the state of vocational education under Sir Mike Tomlinson, I don't know if you remember that report when it came out, declared it had a very fuzzy font, was what I remember, a very faint font, very, very odd print, declared that the quality of an education system cannot exceed the quality of its teachers. Now that's a phrase that I know has been appropriated by David Cameron, and I think that's quite a fundamental phrase. Just think about that. The quality of an education system cannot exceed the quality of its teachers, and we are teacher trainers. So that suggests to me that we're quite an important bunch of people. However, but as a teacher trainer, and I've been in teacher training for more than 15 years now, um, I'm a bit confused. I don't know if you're confused, and you share that confusion. The confusion is, that are we, as teacher trainers, are we important anymore to the FE sector? Popularity of, ac of academies and free schools, schools direct, for example, in the secondary sector, and the rise of the unqualified teacher gives me cause for concern. School teachers need good degrees and require BGCE, but we treat FE a bit differently. Maybe it deserves to be treated a little bit differently. Ofsted have been critical of the teacher training community in the last 10 years since the publication of Equipping Our Teachers uh, for the Future. But it, it's apparent that we don't need training in how to teach. The question is, do we trust employers? Do we trust colleges to make the right judgments? And those are rhetorical questions for the moment. Now, I've seen in my work, inspiring teachers with 2-2 degrees and unqualified industry experts in tears in my office as a staff development manager in my day because they can't cope. I haven't yet really seen an automatic causal link between teacher training um, expertise and the quality of one's degree. But, but here is the chance to have that debate. And in, and in government at the moment, there's a lot of reference to bright students. And of course, we're all familiar with Carol Dweck's work on motivation and fixed and growth mindsets. You know, this concept of the bright student is how, how does that fit with the language of, that we are working with as teacher trainers? All this convinces me that teacher trainers matter and teacher training matters. 